Hello everyone, it's Spluff5 here, and today we're going to do another episode of Industrial Craft for Dummies. In today's episode, we will be covering some of the basic kinds of armor that Industrial Craft adds. I guess let's get straight into it. Okay, the first piece of armor it's possible to make is it's possible to make bronze armor yeah it's just it's just yeah to make it you just put bronze ingots in the same shape as you would for every other kind of iron and uh, the good news is it will fill up your um kind of bar of armor all the way, except it will, well, start again, it will fill up your bar of armor all the way just like diamond, but it will not last as long as diamond. Right, the next kind of armor I'm going to cover is hazmat armor. The first thing you can make is rubber boots. Rubber boots are made with rubber in that shape with wool of any color. And what these special boots do is if you get up high, how high can we get? We'll probably jump off the top of the solar array to demonstrate it. Oh, falling into a hole. Lag, 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 lag. Do not try and do parkour when you're lagging. See? All right. See, I would normally take some fall damage from being this high up, but no fall damage. That's what the boots do. But I can just jump down into this hole. No fall damage. They mitigate not all fall damage. You can't jump off like the top of a skyscraper and live, but they mitigate some fall damage, quite a bit of it. So yeah, that's what the rubber boots do. They're quite useful. Alright, the next thing is... Is it hazmat with a Z? Yeah. Hazmat suit leggings. They're just rubber with orange dye. And these give you some... They look snazzy for a start. And they give you half a armor point of armor. And they're used to protect you from poisoning. Same with the hazmat suit. Used to protect you from poisoning. And the cool thing is that um actually covers the end of your arms. It doesn't just go up to your top of your like shoulder. It actually covers the end. Right, the last piece of hazmat armor is actually quite cool. It's called the scuba helmet. Oh yeah, the hazmat um, thing is made with that shape. Right, the scuba helmet is made with rubber, orange dye, glass, and iron bars. And we'll put this one on to complete the set. Come on. Mm, yeah, so that's what that does, but it has an extra function. If we get some cells, just empty ones. We go over to our compressor and we compress empty cells. I'm not going to wait for it because I'm lazy. We get compressed air cells, which yeah, are made by compressing empty cells. And what these do, if you have some of these on your hotbar, find some water and you're wearing the scuba helmet, just go over here. Where's the pink sheep? Who is still unnamed as of the time of this recording. Where did he go? I remember I sheared him, so... That's unusual. You don't usually find cobwebs in great wood trees, do you? Anyway, we're getting off target here. Oh, there he is. Yes, he's regrown his wool. Okay. Oh, here's some water. We can use... Uh, should we? No. Now, these will not do anything if right-clicked, and you can't put them in any sort of machine. 
But if we go over to where our water mills are and there's water that is a little bit deeper, when you go under the water, you will not be able to breathe. Of, well, you'll be able to hold your breath, but watch the number of air cells while you're wearing the scuba helmet. It refills. When you get down to three, it will consume one compressed air cell. And it will turn it back into an empty cell and it will refill your bubble bath. So that's pretty cool. But while wearing a full hazmat suit, you only actually get two armor points. But that's a nice way to breathe underwater. And they're not exactly expensive, the compressed air cells. In fact, yeah, since you get the empty cells back, you have a pretty much unlimited supply of compressed air. As long as you have power, you have compressed air. So that's the hazmat suit. Right, the next thing is pretty awesome. This is called the backpack. Here it is. Make the backpack with a piece of tin, an electronic circuit, and six batteries. It can store 60,000 EU. And if we take off our hazmat suit, and you t you get one, and it's empty. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, look, it's daytime. Uh, we take find a machine to charge this up, and we'll charge it up in this bat box. Charge it up, and it's basically like batteries you can wear on your back, but it supplies power to your mining drills and chainsaws and things, so they have a lot more power storage. And you wear it on your back. Which means that you can't wear full suits of hazmat armor while wearing a backpack, but that doesn't really matter. And we've drained our bat box completely. So, it's cool. And it looks kind of snazzy. And yeah, that's that. It just stores energy on your back. That's all it does. But, yeah, it powers your tool, so it's quite useful. All right, the next two items I'm going to show you. What, the first one is the... Where is it? Solar helmet, which is made with three copper cables and a solar panel and five iron ingots or an already made iron helmet. That'll make a solar helmet. And a solar helmet is a solar panel that you wear on your head. And it will slowly charge up your backpack. You don't have to move, you can stand still, but you need to be in the sunshine for it to charge up your backpack. See, it's slowly filling up. Right, the next thing is static boots, which are made with iron ingots, blue, or well, some kind of wool, and three copper cables, or just ready-made iron boots. Put these on. And when you're walking, they will slowly charge up your backpack. I can't demonstrate it because I can't walk while looking at the backpack. But trust me, they charge up the backpack while you're just walking around. In fact, I can demonstrate it. The backpack is at 502.44. We'll walk around a bit. Now it's at 502.48. So it is very slow. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is called the jetpack. Now I'm really, really going to flub on this one. The jetpack. It's made with an empty fuel can, electronic circuit, refined iron, and redstone. Now I'm so going to flub on this one because I've never used this before, but I thought I'd try and demonstrate it. Oh boy. Oh, that wasn't too hard. Ow. But hooray for rubber boots. Wait, I'll just put these on so I don't die. Right. Hold down the space bar, you go up. Release the space bar, you go down. Up, down. So it's basically just a device, 
as far as I know, for just jumping super high. And I guess if you press the space bar, like, a little rapidly, or whatever your jump key is, you'll be able to kind of hover. See, I'm hovering here. It's actually quite useful. And land gently. There we go. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. And it's not that expensive. And with rubber boots, let's just see how high rubber boots work as. Alright, this is pretty high. Let's see what happens. No damage. Wow, these rubber boots are fantastic. And a good feature for them would be to... They died then, but... Yeah, they cushion a good amount of damage. In fact, I'm just going to get myself another jetpack so I can get back to where I died reasonably quickly. I always have my render distance on short because my computer is not the best at graphics and it can't handle very much above that. Well, I can handle it, it's just really slow. How far away are we from the death point? Only 200 meters, that shouldn't take very long. We are flying. This is so cool. I'm just going to land. But it does run out of its fuel. And I think you have to put um, e that f those... Bleh, sorry. You need to put coal fuel or biofuel in them for them to work. I think you do. I think it has something to do with the canning machine, how you do that. I think you have to like put it in the slot where you usually put the fuel can, and then you have to put the fuel in, and it will can it into it. Let's go find out. Whoa, this is so different. See spider webs in the great wood tree? No. It's unusual, I think. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. That's a way to fly using industrial craft in survival mode. But you make sure you use it in conjunction with rubber boots, otherwise, ow, bad things can happen. Alright, here's all our stuff. Wow, we really splattered. That's a normal jump. That's just me pressing the space bar once. So a normal jump can actually give you full damage when using this. Where are my rubber boots? Rubber boots, rubber boots, and super special dead set. I'm probably here. Yeah. It's a Phineas and Ferb song. Okay. A ca oh. canning machine. Here we go. Take off our jetpack. See, it does use up a lot of fuel quite quickly. Right, let's try it. Put it in the bottom slot with some kind of fuel. Yep, that's how you do it. Okay. You put it in the bottom slot with some kind of fuel in the top and it will fill it back up. It uses quite a bit of fuel to fill it back up. Wow. And the annoying thing is it consumes the cells. That's with a lot of mods. It actually consumes the cells as well as the liquid, which is really annoying because you keep using up a lot of tin. And same with forest red, it actually consumes cans. Oh, it didn't fill it up all the way, as you can see, but it filled it up a little bit. And my hazmat leggings are almost dead and scuba helmet. Where are my rubber boots? Where are my rubber boots? I died there, so they wouldn't have gone. Oh well, never mind. So that wraps up. Woo! Basic armor. With. Wow. Let's get out of there. Basic armor with industrial craft. Next time, we're going to get into the awesome substance that is construction foam. Epicness. So, yeah. This is Bluff 5 signing out, and goodbye.